What up, what up, what's good, everybody? This your man, Lucky. I'm back, man. I'm back with another one. I hope everybody's doing well. Listen, fellas, let me talk to you guys about something, man. I look like I got on a bonnet or something, man. Listen, fellas, let me explain something to you, okay? Disrespect is unacceptable, okay? Disrespect is unacceptable. It is what it is. You must have boundaries, guys. If you do not have boundaries, you're going to be disrespected all day long. <laughs> no matter what, everybody is going to disrespect you if you don't have boundaries. You have to have boundaries and you have to stand on it. You have to have boundaries when it comes down to how people are going to treat you or how you're going to respond to people's treatment of you. You understand what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you cannot control what somebody does right you can't control what somebody says you, you just you can't control other people you have to understand that however you do have control over how you respond to those people if you have somebody in your life that is disrespecting you right they're treating you in a manner to which is not um becoming of of you right they're not meeting your standards you have to do something about it. Now, I'm going to tell you right now. Stop sitting back and, and questioning as to why somebody doesn't respect you. If somebody is disrespecting you, it's on you to do something about it. Because you cannot control that person. So you can only control how you respond to the situation. What you going to do? Guys, if you don't stand on your boundaries, you're never going to get respected by anyone. You got to let it be known. Yo, listen, I don't tolerate this right here. Yo, if a woman is disrespecting you, let her know. Nah, I don't tolerate this right here. And you have to do it from the very start. You have to do it from the very start. You understand what I'm saying? I got, I have friends of mine, right? Right. That, um, you know, I grew up with and, um, we laugh, we joke, uh, you know, we curse, you know, at one another, or, or just in general conversation, right? Now that I'm a lot older, I have a lot of, uh, you know, friends, those same friends who are now on a, on a different level to their where they're like, yo, listen, I don't use those type of words. I don't, I don't curse anymore. You know, um, expand your um, vocabulary so that you can use a better word in place of that curse word. So I get it, you know? As soon as I started cursing, they were like, yo, hold up, hold up. No, 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 we're not gonna do that. All right, cool. So guess what? When I talk to somebody else, I use any word that comes to mind. When I talk to them, I'm constantly thinking about what words I can use. What can I say? Don't curse. Don't curse. Don't curse. Why? Because they stood on that boundary. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? They stood on that boundary. So I know now if I still want to continue to interact with that person, I have to carry myself in a certain way. Period. They nipped it in the bud in the beginning. And it is what it is. This is how you got to carry yourself. Nobody's just automatically going to, uh, you know, respect you. Simply because they don't know what may be considered respectful or disrespectful to you. You have to let that be known. You have to let the people in your life know your rules. That's your responsibility. Once you allow disrespect, you have lowered your standard. Let's just say disrespect comes on, let's just say to make it easy, right? Five levels, right? There are just five levels of disrespect. It starts small and it, and it just works its way, its way up, right? Some com Somebody comes at you with a, a, a level one uh, type of disrespect. And you don't say anything, you don't do anything, you let it slide. Not a problem. Now they're going to come at you with a level two disrespect because it, it's at that point, it's not even a level two because level one has now become the standard. So you've just lowered the standard. There are no more five levels of disrespect. Now there are only four levels of disrespect because you accepted level one. So now level one is the standard. So now they come with another level of disrespect and you accept it. You don't do anything with it. You tolerate it. You don't address it or anything. You just let it slide. Now you have to understand there are only three levels of disrespect. There are not five levels of disrespect because when they came with that level two disrespect, you accepted it. So now that level two is now the standard. 
Do y'all get what I'm trying to say? Don't let people disrespect you. You have to set the standard for yourself. Set the standard. There are many reasons why we accept disrespect. There are many reasons. You might be insecure. For whatever reason, you might be insecure. And so the person that you're accepting disrespect from is your spouse, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever, whatever your situation is. And you know they're disrespecting you, but you're allowing the disrespect simply because you want to continue the relationship with that person. You feel as though, hey, if I say something or if I address this situation, they may break up with me. They may leave or they may get mad or whatever the case may be. So you're just accepting the disrespect because you're insecure maybe about yourself or about the relationship you know listen man why would you want to be in a relationship with somebody that is disrespecting you and you can't get mad at them for disrespecting you it's not them it's you you're accepting the disrespect what do you what do you want them to do what do you want them to do people are going to treat you how you allow them to treat you it is what it is. You might have low self-esteem. You might have low self-esteem. I mean, you know, you're accepting disrespect because you don't think you deserve better. It could be. Sometimes you got to take a deep dive and look into yourself. Like, it's easy to try to blame the other person. A lot of times, man, you're giving the other person a pass for the disrespect. Oh, well, you know they're going through something or they went through something or you know she had a rough day at work or he had a bad day whatever you know what i mean stop making excuses man stop making excuses for other people's disrespect because what you're really doing is making an excuse for yourself as to why you're accepting the disrespect. Listen, anything and everything that you accept when it comes to you is on you. When someone else is disrespecting you, it's not them. It's not them, it's you. You have to set that boundary and you have to stand on it. A lot of times, man, that's why y'all don't have the power to walk away. Having the power to walk away. Listen, when disrespect gets to a certain level, you have to walk away. Listen, if you've gotten to the point where you've allowed disrespect over a certain amount of time, you just allowed it and allowed it and allowed it and allowed it. Like the person doesn't even realize that they're disrespecting you. They don't realize it because you haven't stepped in and said, yo, this is not acceptable. Or maybe you did step in and say, yo, this is not acceptable. I don't accept this type of behavior. I don't accept this type of language. I don't accept this type of whatever it is that they're doing, right? You said to them that you don't accept it. You let them know that it's not allowable. But when they do it, you don't do anything about it. You have a conversation about it. Three months later, they do the same thing. You sit down and have a conversation about it. A few months later, they do the same thing. You have a conversation about it. Guys, you got to stop talking. Stop talk. At what point do you take action? The only thing that they are going that they are going to respect after the loads and loads of disrespect, there are two things, two things that are going to make them respect you. And I can't really say make them respect you, but there, there, there are two things that they must feel in order to get it. The first thing is consequence. The second, the second thing is repercussion. That's it. You can only have so many conversations before you have to take action. If the conversations aren't working, take action, period consequences and repercussions that's the only thing once you've let it get too far that's all you can do you need to nip it in the bud because then when you nip it in the bud in the beginning the consequence and the repercussion is doesn't have to be you know drastic you understand what i'm saying but when it gets too far when it gets to a certain level you gotta walk away 
If that woman is disrespecting you, the disrespect is only going to get worse. At some point in time, that woman is really going to lose all respect for you because if you don't respect yourself enough to check the disrespect, why would they ever respect you? Why would they respect you? People, on, people are only going to respect you as much as you respect yourself. The more disrespect you allow, the more you're showing someone that you don't respect yourself. You don't even respect yourself enough to stand up for yourself. Why would they respect you? What's, what's crazy to me is that people will allow their spouse, their significant other or whatever to show them a certain level of respect that they wouldn't even let their kids show. See, when your kids get out of line, you quit to line them up. You line them up quick. What? What did you say? Who are you talking to? Come here. No, no. Come back in here. Say to me what you just said. Oh, oh, I heard what you said under your breath. Right? You quick to check a kid. You quick to check your kid. Why? Because you feel more powerful than, than your kid? Maybe that's what it is. You feel more powerful than the kid, so you're going to check the kid. But then that person that you're in a relationship with, you know what I'm saying? You don't feel more powerful than them, right? You don't have power over them. So you gonna, they talk to you all kind of way, and you just let it slide. But you don't let the kid get away with anything. And they're a kid. Sometimes kids don't know no better. Or they kids, their attention span is, you know, they kids are just kids. But you got a whole adult that's actively, knowingly, what knowingly what it is that they're doing. They know what they're doing. And they know you ain't gonna do nothing about it. See that kid after a while, they're gonna be like, yo, hold up, man, I ain't playing. <laughs> I'm on punishment for the third, fourth time, and I ain't doing this no more. I'm tired of being on punishment. They done took my game, they took my phone, I can't watch TV. I can't play out on, on the weekend with everybody outside. I can't even go outside and cut the grass. I'm just trying to get outside. I'm just trying to get some air. Let me cut the grass. Nah, you can't. No, you ain't. You can't even cut the grass. Go stay in your room. But then when you got your significant other, they do whatever they want to do, however they want to do, when they want to do. And you don't do nothing about it. Listen, stand on your boundaries. Stop accepting disrespect. The more ex the more disrespect you accept the more disrespect you are going to get and it's going to get more disrespectful each time and it's going to become more often each time we got to do better stop accepting disrespect man it and when you start to accept disrespect like i said before it'll play on your esteem your self-esteem it'll play on your, your confidence it, it'll mentally it'll mentally mess you up it will mentally mess you up especially when it's your, someone that you're in a relationship with, right? Your significant other. It will mess up every other aspect of your life because it, 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 it'll it break down your self-esteem. So now when you're going into other situations because your self-esteem is so low, you can't carry yourself in a certain manner because your, your self-esteem is already shot. You can't be great. Your confidence will be low. Why? Because you feel some type of way. Because you feel disrespected. You feel, you feel less than. So now when you out here trying to be great, you can't be great because you already feel less than. When you allow disrespect. And, and, and then the thing about it is, when you allow disrespect in your relationship, right? When you allow disrespect in your relationship, you're going to allow disrespect other places as well. It's not good. Listen, I'm going to cut this one short, man, because I don't want to sound like I'm rambling, but I had to get this out. It was very important. I had to get this out. Please, guys, stop accepting disrespect. It's not doing you any good. Get out of the situation. Get get out of the situation. If it's, if it's that bad, get out of the situation because you can't 
You can't fix it while you're in the situation. You can't. That person that's disrespecting you, the only thing they're going to respect is consequences and repercussions. That's it. The worst thing you can ever do is say you're going to do something and don't do it. You get no credibility. You lose any ounce of credibility that you had, any ounce of respect that you had left is gone. Guys, don't ever do it, man. That's why sometimes it's best to keep your mouth shut. Don't say you're going to do something and then you can't do it. You, you say that one more time, I'm out of here. Then she say it 10 more times and you still there. You still saying the same thing. You say that one more time and I'm gone. After the 38th time, she didn't say it. You say that one more time, I'm gone. Come on, man. Really? Really? Guys, listen, man. Consequences and repercussions are the only thing. The only thing that could that could bring back an ounce of respect. That's the only thing that could get it back, man. Don't accept it from the gate, man, and you don't have to worry about it. Listen, don't be afraid to walk away. If you let somebody know, listen, I don't accept this, and they continue to do it, you got to walk away. If you do not walk away, the disrespect is only going to get worse. It will never get better. I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all be good. I had to jump out here and put this one out here. Y'all be good. I'll catch y'all on the next one.